What if the secret to life on Mars is hidden in the smallest, oldest organisms on Earth? Right now, aboard China's Tiangong space station, astronauts are running a groundbreaking experiment with ancient microbes called anaerobic archaea. These tiny, resilient organisms have survived extreme environments on Earth, but now they face their toughest test, yet simulated Mars-like conditions in space. Why is this so important? Because these microbes produce methane, a gas we've detected on Mars, sparking questions about life beyond Earth. In this video, we'll explore how this experiment could unlock answers about survival in space and bring us closer to discovering life on other planets. Stay with us as we dive into this exciting leap in space research. Let's start by talking about anaerobic archaea, the star of this experiment. These single-celled organisms are some of the oldest life forms on Earth, dating back billions of years. Unlike most organisms, they thrive without oxygen, hence the term anaerobic. They're tough, resilient, and capable of living in environments that would be lethal to most other life forms. They've been found in some of the most extreme places on Earth, like deep sea vents and volcanic hot springs. So what makes them so interesting for space research? The primary reason these microbes are being studied aboard the Tiangong space station is due to the potential similarities between their survival environments and those found on other planets. These microbes consume hydrogen and carbon dioxide, and as a byproduct, produce methane, a gas that has also been detected on Mars. Methane is one of the reasons why scientists think there might be or might have been life on Mars. NASA's Curiosity rover has detected fluctuating levels of methane on the red planet several times, sparking debates among scientists. On Earth, methane is often a byproduct of biological activity, especially from organisms like archaea. So if anaerobic archaea can produce methane in extreme conditions, it might help explain the methane detected on Mars. The big question is, could similar life forms exist on Mars, or could they have existed in the past? By studying how these archaea react to the simulated Martian environment in space, scientists hope to gain insights into the potential for life on other planets. This brings us to the heart of the experiment aboard Tiangong. By placing these ancient microbes in space, we can study how they respond to conditions similar to those found on Mars and other celestial bodies. This could not only answer questions about Mars methane, but also open doors to understanding life beyond Earth. The Tiangong Space Station's experiment on anaerobic archaea pushes the boundaries of space biology by examining these microorganisms in a truly unique environment microgravity and extreme cosmic radiation. The Shenzhou 18 crew is simulating conditions found on other planets, such as Mars, to see how these ancient microbes react and adapt. Archaea, known for consuming hydrogen and carbon dioxide while producing methane, are of particular interest because their metabolic processes mirror potential life-sustaining mechanisms on other celestial bodies. This experiment is not only about observing archaea's methane production, but also about understanding their ability to survive under the intense conditions of space. Exposure to cosmic rays can cause DNA damage, and by analyzing how these microorganisms repair and cope with such damage, scientists can gain critical insights into the possibility of life evolving elsewhere in the universe. The findings could also shed light on the resilience of early life forms on Earth and their potential application in the search for extraterrestrial life. Moreover, this research could have direct implications for human space exploration. If archaea can efficiently produce methane in space, they could become a key part of in-situ resource utilization ISRU for long-duration missions. Generating fuel and other necessary resources directly in space would reduce the need for frequent resupply missions from Earth potentially enabling longer stays on the Moon, Mars, and beyond. Additionally, understanding how microbes behave in space environments can help protect astronauts from unintended microbial interactions, ensuring safer space travel. Tiangong's focus on this experiment highlights China's ambition in pioneering space research. With the space station fully operational since 2022, it continues to be a platform for cutting-edge science. This archaea experiment is part of a broader initiative to explore the effects of space on both biological organisms and physical systems, offering valuable data for the future of astrobiology and space sustainability.
The significance of this experiment extends far beyond scientific curiosity. It holds profound implications for both our understanding of life and the future of space exploration. One of the most important outcomes of studying microbes in space is how it can influence the design of future missions to Mars and other planets. If anaerobic archaea can survive and adapt to space environments, this changes the way we approach human settlement and exploration of other celestial bodies. NASA and SpaceX, for example, have long-term goals of establishing human presence on Mars. Understanding how both humans and microorganisms interact in hostile environments like space is critical to achieving these ambitions. The research aboard the Tiangong Space Station helps lay the groundwork for life support systems, biomining, and bioregenerative technologies that can sustain human habitats on Mars. Microbes like archaea could play a crucial role in creating self-sustaining ecosystems that can produce resources such as oxygen, water, and methane for fuel, reducing the need for constant resupply from Earth. Moreover, this research contributes significantly to astrobiology by reshaping our understanding of life's potential across the universe. If life can survive in extreme environments similar to Mars, then the possibility of extraterrestrial life existing in previously unconsidered places becomes much more likely. The detection of methane on Mars has already sparked debates, but proving that archaea or similar microbes can endure cosmic radiation in space conditions could be a game-changer for future Mars missions and the search for alien life. Furthermore, if microbes can thrive in such environments, the implications for terraforming other planets or creating sustainable habitats grow exponentially we would gain a deeper understanding of how to engineer life support systems that harness microbial processes to convert local resources into essential supplies for human survival. This kind of knowledge would be transformative not only for Mars missions, but also for more distant ventures to moons like Europa or Titan, where liquid water exists beneath icy surfaces. Ultimately, this experiment helps answer fundamental questions about life's adaptability and durability, opening new doors to both the search for extraterrestrial life and the possibilities of long-term space habitation. The lessons learned could propel humanity's next giant leap into the cosmos. In this video, we have learned about the exciting experiment aboard the Tiangong Space Station, where astronauts are studying ancient anaerobic microbes and their potential to survive in space-like conditions. This research could help unlock the mystery of life on Mars and beyond, bringing us closer to understanding the possibilities of life elsewhere in the universe. We hope you learned something new. If you did, please give us a like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to leave a comment below and tell us what you think about this news and what you'd like to know more about. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.